most beautiful county has been discovered, the county of choice. Sitting on the shores of the second largest freshwater lake in the world, Lake Victoria, is an undiscovered paradise, Homaway County. It arguably has the world's most romantic, scenic, undiscovered beaches. You can relax on the crystal white sand, listening to the waves crashing at a distance and palm trees waving the day away. It's absolutely breathtaking. I want to take this opportunity to welcome people to Homa Bay. Homa Bay is a country choice. Homa Bay is a place to invest in. Homa Bay is how it's endowed with resources. And resources including agricultural resources, including energy resources, including wonderful infrastructure. Homa Bay is a beautiful and people are warm and friendly. Welcome to Homa Bay for your investment. Your investment opportunity, your investment destination is Homa Bay. Soklokipenyi. Don't ask about the island. An eerie haunted island, completely deserted, except for the wild animals that roam freely within. Homa Bay Hot Springs. Come to where Mother Nature waved her magical wand and created one of the most natural of all wonders, natural hot mineral waters. Heated deep within the earth, these crystal clear carbonated waters are world famous for their mineral content and legendary healing powers. While you bask in its heat, you can make a quick snack, boil an egg in its simmering waters as the steam opens up your skin pores. Ondago Swamp, where animals graze in peace as they sunbathe all day. It's a beautiful scene that you can't afford to miss out on. Taking an exciting speed boat ride leads us to the stony fishing island of Remba. A small village where fishermen live like one big happy family. They usually unite as one to bring in their boats after a bountiful morning of fishing. The populous island is one of the most favorable places to fish and can be an ideal place to sample scrumptious fresh fish straight from the lake and onto your plate. The county also boasts of Lake Simbi, an endless depth of a crater lake filled with minerals that can heal any and all skin diseases. Flamingos usually migrate from Lake Nakuru to color the lake pink. And of course, not to forget the breathtaking lodges, quietly hidden on the longest shoreline of Lake Victoria. The lodges blend international sophistication with raw African beauty, with exquisite rooms modeled in a traditional setting. Just the perfect touch of luxury suitable for business or pleasure. With experienced chefs serving you up with any and all of your favorite international cuisine. Homa Bay's very own local hero lives with us. Thomas Joseph Mboya, the trade unionist, politician, statesman, and of course among Lua's first modern hero. As the main architect behind the 1965 airlifts, he set up the educational stage for some of Kenya's top politicians, Nobel Peace Prize winner Wangari Mathai, and the American president's heritage. Barack Obama's father, Obama Sr., was also one of his success stories. Then there's Ruma National Park, where thousands of animals run free in the wild, majestically showing off their beauty to the world. From the amazing tall giraffes, zebras, playful and noisy monkeys, gracious gazelles, and of course the roan. The one-of-its-kind animal that can only be seen in this park in its natural habitat. A spectacle of this wildlife show is something you can't find anywhere else in the whole world. The Western Circuit is well endowed with the tourism products that has not been uh, touched 
unexploited. Uh, if you look at, uh, as I said, Homer Bay County is the center of all this in uh, the Western Circuit. Because in Homer Bay County, you'll find almost everything in Kenya that everybody would go to other regions to visit. If you look at the safari tourism, we have it in Homer Bay, that, Ronald, uh, that Roma National Park. If you look at the beaches tourism, we have them uh, in, uh, in uh, Homer Bay, where we find them in Mombasa. If you look at the wellness tourism, we have them in Homer Bay. If you look at the bird watching and the flamingos that are found in, uh, in uh, Nakuru, we have them in Homer Bay. If you, look at, if you look at the historical bit of it, we have the great uh, the Legion Gorma here, we have the Tomboya, the Pan-Africanist, and other more things like the great uh, Simbi Nyaima and the historical tourism bit of it, you'll all find them in Homer Bay. The bay stands high as one of the fastest growing economies in Kenya thanks to its wide variety of natural resources. Invest in Homer Bay. Prosper in Homer Bay. The agricultural sector remains full of potential and its value chain brimming with opportunity. 80% of its population depends on agriculture and fishing for their livelihood. Its predominantly black cotton soil is rich in nutrients requiring little to no fertilizer to yield healthy crops. The main crops produced in the county include cotton, maize, beans, sorghum, millet, kales and sweet potatoes. A successful cotton revival has been initiated with the aim of making it Kenya's cotton growing and processing hub. Cotton is among the main lucrative cash crops in Hama Bay. We want to see a situation where a complete value chain from cotton to cloth can take place in Homer Bay County and for the last two and a half years we have actually put a lot of emphasis in reviving the cotton growing so that uh, you would eventually have enough product when it comes to ginning and finally uh, textile industry. The processing plant will add value to the cotton seed by converting it into cotton lint for export as well as an absorbent cotton wool, cotton oil and as a raw material for animal feeds in the domestic market. The dairy sector in Homer Bay County drips with opportunity with its over 1 million population acting as a ready market. With the successful eradication of the sassafly, the county is keen on aggressively promoting dairy farming and has adopted a multi-pronged approach to jumpstart the local dairy sector. This area of milk uh, production is an area that farmers can be organized to be uh, into producers, producer groups, and then they produce through an agency. Farmers will get training, linking them to financial institutions to allow them to purchase high-grade dairy cattle and allow them to process higher value end products like yogurt. The pilot project is already underway with hundreds of farmers already signed up. The project will act as a great opportunity for investors to come in and establish a dairy processing plant that is expected to serve the ever-growing demand for milk and other higher value end products. So we invite any investor who might be interested in, in dairy production to come over and uh, there are a number of incentives that uh, uh, will support this because the county government is ready to support the infrastructure for the purposes of uh, our milk collection, like milk collection center, uh, centers and cooperatives, organizing farmers into cooperatives that will make efficient the production and processing of milk. The improved road network will provide farmers with the opportunity to transport their milk and milk products to other neighboring counties. Poultry farming is yet another untapped area where investors stand a chance to reap greatly from commercial poultry and egg production. The poultry value chain will be the largest consumer of products from the feeds factory. Kimira Oluch Irrigation Scheme 
has been established by the national government to ensure that all farming at the county is not dependent on rainfall. The irrigation scheme has supplemented the supply of fruits and vegetables to its residents and its environs. Farmers are already reaping the benefits of the scheme as the fruits and vegetables are in high demand, thus ready market. The opening of Kabunde airstrip will also boost quantity of horticultural produce exported from Kimira Oluj to other parts of the country and East Africa at large. The county government is looking for an investor to put up a pineapple processing plant to promote growth in the horticultural industry. Homa Bay County is among Kenya's leading producer of yellow flesh sweet potatoes, mainly at the foothills of Kabondo village. There is increased demand due to its richness in vitamin A and more Kenyans are shifting towards a higher intake of traditional foods as a lifestyle choice. To increase yields, the county government has made efforts to increase acreage for sweet potatoes that is under production. Homa Bay County has invested heavily in the construction of an animal feeds factory that will act as a key source of feeds in the country. Construction is already 80% done with the county eagerly searching for investors to come in place to set up the processing plant through a public-private partnership. If you look at livestock production, the key issue here is not even the management, it's the feeds. Because, and that's one reason why our, our farmers have not got into the improved species because they cannot meet the standards of the feeds that are necessary to increase the production. Occupying the largest share of Lake Victoria in Kenya, Homa Bay proudly supplies most of Kenya's households with freshwater tilapia and not to forget omena, Nile perch and chlorias. The goal of the county government with the help of investors is to make a mark in the international scene by making it a key player by increasing production and reducing reliance on the lake using ways like cage fishing and fish ponds. We have fish and we want to create fish processing plants. At the moment our fishermen are not gaining much from fish because they sell the fish products at a throwaway price. They don't have what we call cold facilities to keep them as long. So when they get them from the lake, they want to sell them quickly. In the process, they are losing quite a bit. Because we're not processing fish in Homa Bay at the source, we are not creating what we call value chain development in fish products, which is something that we are working on. Additionally, as a result of the growth in the fish industry, the demand for fish fingerlings has shot up from 1 million to 20 million in less than a year. And this is expected to pick to 100 million. With this also comes the demand for 14,000 tons of fish feed which the animal feeds factory can supply. The development of the infrastructure and the airstrip will increase the exportation of freshwater fish and fish products. The renewable energy sector in Kenya is currently one of the most active in Africa, with Palma Bay County ranking high on the list. The county is blessed with vast natural resources that are simply glowing with investment opportunity. Oma Bay County uh, has, uh, is endowed with uh, wealth, a lot of uh, wealth, uh, particularly the uh, natural resources. We have uh, plenty of deposits of uh, minerals uh, that including uh, iron ore, uh, gold, uranium, zinc, uh, copper, uh, granite and limestone is there in plenty which can be used for uh, making of, or manufacturing of cement. Uh, we also are blessed with uh, uh, plenty of sunshine and they say that uh, Oma Bay has the highest level of irradiation which is uh, necessary for solar generation. We also have wind particularly along the 
lake shores and uh, on most of the hilly, hilly places and wind power is a potential for investors. And we uh, also have uh, geothermal, we have uh, springs, about uh, three areas which can be used for geothermal generation. We also have uh, biomass, in fact there is plenty of uh, biomass. Uh, uh, we have plenty of uh, hyacinth on Lake Victoria which we can use for production. We also have sugarcane uh, uh, industries that produce bagasse that can be used uh, for generation of uh, electricity. Massive investment opportunity lies in wind power. Kenya aims to generate 2,036 megawatts of wind power and Homa Bay has the potential to supply a substantial amount of this. Homa Bay County is already working with investors in these sectors but is still in need of more to take advantage of its many underutilized resources. There is even more opportunity for hydropower generation through a spectacular waterfall along River Awach in the untampered area of Oyugis. A plan to free fishermen from using kerosene lamps to attract fish to their nets at night is currently underway. High on the list as an alternative to fuel-based lighting is LED systems that would provide the same lighting service for lower the cost. A quarter of this market is ready for this much-needed change, making it a low-hanging fruit for potential investors. Homa Bay County has the potential to be a main player in the production of geoenergy, harnessing power from steam released by hot rocks in natural ponds like Balariwa. The springs have a surface temperature of 900 degrees. The county government has invested heavily in solar power lighting to pave the way for small-scale traders within the CBD through the Okonyowelo Lighting Project that has erected over 450 solar masks in designated markets targeting a 24-hour economy. This project has boosted the economic status of Homa Bay residents, especially women, who can now extend their hours of operation comfortably into the wee hours of the night. Solar power can also be used to provide electricity in households for the residents of Homa Bay County. The county government of Homa Bay strives to provide clean water to all its inhabitants through various successful water projects like the Kodera Karachonyo Water Supply Project, a gravity water project from River Awach, Rangwe, Sindo, West Karachonyo, Mirinyakwere Water Supply Works, and Rihanna Homa Bay Water Project. Sewerage is so, so important that it must follow with the water system. And therefore, we encourage, to, we, we are looking forward to investors who can come to our aid. And not only in Homa Bay Town, we have other towns. We have Oyubis, we have Kindu, we have Mbita, we have Ndewa, and many, many others that need to be sewered, need to have uh, a, a, a sewerage system. Five years to come will not be enough. We need to have a bigger sewerage plant that will cater for all this influx of people, that will cater for this solid uh, uh, management, and uh, we have to start now. We cannot wait until we need it. We have to have it before the need actually comes in. With over 80% of Lake Victoria in Kenya to its name, the county can easily afford to access the other East African countries. Transportation via the lake will be convenient, affordable and accessible for most of its residents. It will also serve as an avenue of transportation of products that the county can export. We want somebody who can do lake transport, like what is in Cape Town, with the water sports and uh, with our water, freshwater lake, we realize water sports is really doable in Homa Bay. So that is another area any investor can pick up and can be sure of making immediate returns. And as I told you, we are central. We'll be serving uh, Tanzania and parts of Uganda. And we, are we, are, we, are, we want somebody who can even develop a cruise within the lake. We, are, uh, we have agreed as the, the bordering counties, so we'll support that. Homa 
Bay County also seeks to be a game changer when it comes to providing quality education to its children from the basic primary school level to tertiary education. It is also an ideal place to set up a marine training school. Tom Boyer University is conveniently located in the CBD, providing tertiary education for many of its youth, as well as those in its environs. However, for the university to grow, there is need for accommodation facilities. The demand for these facilities surpasses the supply, with many students still looking for accommodation elsewhere. Women are at the heart of business in any county. It is said that empowering women is empowering the society. The county government also seeks to develop a women empowerment center that will have a central coordination point for women empowerment economic activities. This center will have, among others, an ultra-modern conferencing hall and state-of-the-art accommodation facilities. The other line which we also encourage is private-owned facilities. As I'm speaking, we only have private-owned clinics and small upcoming private-owned hospitals. This is where we still lack a lot of uh, facilities because you see, the Kenyan people, they choose where to go. There are those who prefer to go to government-owned, but because of the overcrowding, people would choose private facilities. And as I'm speaking, we still don't have any established, fully equipped uh, private hospital. So that is the way we plan to provide healthcare services, government-owned, faith-based, and also to promote private facilities to come up. The other area where we would also like uh, investment, you know, for the healthcare services, there's a lot of supplies, the pharmaceutical supplies, the laboratory supplies, and this we still depend on the national supply, the cancer. We feel we need an investment or an investor who can also set up some supply chain in Homer Bay County and even the, the Lake region. So this would also supply other counties. Homer Bay County is arguably the fastest growing story of success and prosperity in Kenya. Homer Bay County is looking for partners to grow with, to flourish with. Homer Bay County needs investors like yesterday. In fact, it has taken long for, for that. That is the desire of the people and everybody here. Think Homer Bay. Don't decide before you come and see. Come and meet us and we'll package it to what you want. Welcome to Homer Bay County, the county of choice. Homer Bay County is looking for you. Invest in Homer Bay, prosper in Homer Bay.